it is how state-of-the-art Neelam Jellum hydropower dam structure had been designed by the engineers. And how perfectly construction team has been constructed one of the engineering marvels. The Neelam Jellum hydropower project had been constructed within a geologically complex and seismo-tectonically active setting. During construction stage, the dam design was optimized as a composite structure, with a zone fill section overlying the anticipated fault location, and the remainder of the dam, consisting of a concrete gravity structure and gated spillway. The fill section of the dam is designed to accommodate the estimated offset that could occur on the fault below. A 160-meter long and 60-meter high dam has been designed with crest elevation of 1019 meter. The dam structure consists of six intake gates close to the diversion dam, a divide pier, a gated spillway with three radial gates, and two flap gates of debris channel and rock fill dam on the right bank of Neelam River. The intake structures consist of three blocks monolithically joined by contraction joints. Each block consists of two gates opening and also entails one undersluice gate for sediments flushing. Three identical bays of 275 meter long and 25.4 meter wide for sedimentation control has been arranged on the left bank of Neelam River. The velocities in the approach intake as well as in the sedimentation basin are such that most sediment particles larger than 0.2 millimeters will settle down and will not pass in the headrace tunnel to the power house plant. The design was furnished with four submerged outlet gates in each basin, which could be adjusted to obtain even flow out of the basins. Each basin has a capacity of 138,000 cubic meter. The collecting and flushing canal has been arranged down to the sedimentation basin. A total of 24 gates have been designed to collect the water from sedimentation basin, divert through headrace tunnel, and flush the debris from the lower level. The structure has been divided into three blocks, each block have eight openings. Headrace connection with collecting canal and flushing gallery. Upper level outlet gates, four in each block were provided for passing water into collecting canal and four under sluice flushing gates at lower levels. The collecting canal gates has been designed to operate locally from HPU control units placed inside of the three respective concrete buildings on outlet block deck. Four undersluices, 2.5 meters by 2 meters in each block, has been provided at an elevation of 988.5 meters, which were connected with flushing outlet canal. The gate chamber has been arranged to operate flushing gates. Twelve outlet gates, four in each sedimentation basin, are provided having dimension 3 meters in width and 4 meters high for passing water into collecting canal. The sill level of outlet gates is fixed at an elevation of 1,000 meters. The collecting canal divert the clean water into headrace tunnel at higher level. The headrace tunnel is designed horseshoe with inner diameter of 12 meters at an inlet. To complete, about 115,000 cubic meter concrete has been poured in multiple blocks and stages at sedimentation basins and collecting canal. These structures are serving well to trap the sediments and discharge the clean water towards powerhouse. In order to prevent from scouring, a stilling basin of length 98.3 meters has been provided downstream of dam axis, in front of three spillway openings. To accommodate the estimated movement that could happen on the fault below, the rock fill dam at right banks was constructed with 220,000 cubic meter of rock and thousands cubic meters of clay and filter materials. A gantry crane has been installed on both the diversion dam and intake block for lifting stop log beams and other services of the intake gates. The crane will travel on rails along the top of the diversion dam and intake block. The crane will also be used for general service of the flap gates on debris channel. To complete the dam and ancillary structures, construction team has excavated 4.5 million cubic meter of rock, poured 1.3 million cubic meter concrete, 264,000 cubic meter of structural backfilling, and 221,000 cubic meter of rock filling for dam. 
Thanks viewers for watching and thumbs up if you like. Write us in the comments section and subscribe our channel for more updates.